It's only fitting that we would be in our new studio, the BetMGM studio, with the newest Titan. Peter Skaronsky, welcome to Nashville. Welcome to Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park, and welcome to the Tennessee Titans. It's great to be here. Yep, happy to be a Titan. Now, you did not take a pre-draft visit here. I did not. No, it was my first time. So, were you surprised when you got the call from the Titans? No, I had an interview with the Combine, um, and, you know, offensive line coach came to my pro day, too, so I had a good amount of interaction with them. Um, really didn't have many visits in general anyways, uh, so I figured it was pretty likely I might, went to somewhere that I didn't visit, um, and I always kind of hoped that Titans would be one of the teams that that came in, came and picked me, and so not super surprised, but very, very grateful um, and, and very happy to be here. For most of us, watching you get off the plane when you arrived in Nashville, yeah. for those of us who didn't have a chance to do it, we would think, man, that would be so fantastic. Yeah. Was it as good as what you hoped? It was very cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, quick trip down uh, from Chicago, but very a cool experience to kind of land in my new city and uh, start, start a new journey here. It's been fascinating with your story through the draft process, but it has brought your grandfather back to the forefront because yeah. your story, quite obviously, is directly tied to his. For sure. Is outside of being drafted as a first round pick, is that the most exciting part of all this? Is to hear your grandfather's football career and his life story be told again? Yeah, for sure, because, you know, that was sort of my inspiration in football, and that's sort of who I wanted to emulate. Um, and, and follow in his footsteps in a sense and play in the NFL. Um, so to have him be recognized and have his, have his picture be up on TV like that, I think that means a lot to me because he's always meant so much to me in this whole journey. And obviously this is a, a culmination of a lot of things, um, or at least last night was. And uh, he obviously helped me get there. So A lot of great stories about things about your career coming up. You didn't start playing football, tackle football, till you're 12? Yeah, until about sixth grade. Okay. Yeah. Do you think that was helpful in um, retrospect? I guess so, yeah. That was my dad's rule. He wouldn't let me play tackle until then. Um, I think it probably helped me. I guess it didn't hurt me. I, I don't know. Yeah. And you throw with your right hand. Yes. You bat with your right hand. Correct. You write with your left hand. Do you do more things left-handed or right-handed? I think, I want to say right-handed, just that I write left and I'll eat lefty. Um, but, you know, everything athletically. I throw, or okay. throw, bat, right-handed. That's got to be helpful being an offensive lineman, right? I think so, yeah. I think there's a lot more coordination with your feet and stuff and hips that go into playing either side of the offensive line. Um, but, I, it can, yeah, I think it probably would help in that sense. What have your interactions with Mike Vrabel been like so far? Pretty good. Um, we just had lunch together for a little bit. Um, but, obviously, met Coach Vrabel in, the, in my interview at the Combine and, and talked to him here, and, obviously, Really, really, really well-regarded head coach and excited to play for him. Has he been giving you a bunch of business about Ohio State and Northwestern? Nothing yet, though, but I expect You're expecting it'll come it? soon, yeah. With, with your granddad and with your dad and how you've come up in this thing, you understand what this expectation is, don't you? For sure, for sure. Yeah, obviously there's a ton of expectations for me to perform and, and, and to give my best for this organization and right it up to him. What's the first thing you want to do as you get on the ground here in Nashville from a football perspective? Football, football perspective is just, um, you know, learn, our, learn the play, playbook for sure and, and get the mental side of things down and just so I can just go out there and play and, and play freely. And then um, definitely some technique things I want to fix too and obviously get with Coach Haas and, and see how you see what he thinks in terms of getting me better. So, um, yeah, definitely playbook and then just some technique things. But for this moment, it still just kind of has still, to feel like a dream, right? Still soaking it in, yeah. Still soaking it in.